Elon Musk announced that Tesla is starting Tesla Semi production and that Pepsi is going to get the first electric trucks starting December 1. Tesla showed off its Semi for the world to see on December 14, 2017. There have already been several sightings of the Semis. The Tesla Semi website refers to these vehicles as beasts, and while we don't know everything about them until they are delivered, there's plenty of information to weave together. From what we do know, it's safe to say that Tesla is shaking up the transportation sector again. Elon Musk first mused about the Tesla Semi in his master plan part 2, which appeared on the company website on July 20, 2016. Under the header, expand to cover the major forms of terrestrial transport, the CEO went further than sedans and SUVs. Musk reiterated that the vehicle has a range of 500 miles, 805 kilometers, on a single charge. Tesla semi-electric trucks are being produced in Nevada near Tesla's Gigafactory. Last year, Electric exclusively reported that Tesla was building a production line for the Tesla Semi in a new building near the Gigafactory. At the time, we were told that the production equipment installed would be for about five electric trucks per week. Tesla plans to move to higher volume production at Gigafactory, Texas. The Semi was initially going to have four independent motors, however, that's now three. Nevertheless, it doesn't seem to have slowed the vehicle down. We wanted a vehicle that feels incredible, that accelerates like nothing else, said Musk while showing a video of the Tesla Semi reaching 60 miles per hour in five seconds without a load. It can also reach 60 miles per hour fully loaded with a maximum 80,000 pounds gross vehicle weight in 20 seconds. This is exciting. Tesla Semi has real potential to change the game in the trucking industry with its useful 500-mile range and efficiency of fewer than 2 kilowatt-hours per mile. At $0.20 per kilowatt-hour, that's a $0.40 cost of operation per mile. That's about half the cost of operation of a diesel truck. Considering companies can spend up to $80,000 on fuel per year per truck, you can imagine how it could be really attractive to go electric. If successful, it could quickly electrify the trucking industry and significantly cut emissions from freight transport. The Semi can run on sunlight because Tesla is rolling out solar-powered megachargers and a guaranteed low electricity rate. The megachargers will power up a Semi that is empty to 70% in 30 minutes. That time is vital to note because, in most jurisdictions, drivers must stop every six hours for a 30-minute break. The company says that the Semi will have added 400 miles in half an hour, which can last another six hours. Additionally, these chargers will be at destinations that would allow owners to charge the Semi while it is being loaded or unloaded. The Semi's interior is most similar to the Model 3 or Model Y. The Semi lacks an instrument cluster, but features two horizontal displays, one to either side of the driver. The right display appears to contain the traditional launcher we have in today's Teslas, with access to music, phone, cabin temperature and more, while the left display contains truck-specific features at the bottom, such as tire PSI, trailer air supply, and parking brake functions. Although the software can be changed at any point, the best way to describe the vehicle's current software is to compare it to a Model 3Y. The Semi essentially takes the display of the Model 3 or Model Y and splits it down the middle. The left portion of the display contains the speedometer, gear and battery indicators, and the vehicle's visualization is displayed on the Semi's left display 